USB Type A 2.0. This is the classic rectangular USB port we've all seen. USB 2.0 was super common for keyboards, mic, and flash drives. It's slower by today's standards, about 480 megabits per second, but you'll still find it on older PCs and some accessories. USB Type A 3.x looks almost the same as USB 2.0, but with a blue tab inside. USB 3.x is way faster, up to 5 or even 10 gigabits per second. Great for external hard drives and faster data transfers. Still widely used today. USB Type B. This one looks like a square with beveled edges. You'd mostly find it on old printers and scanners, not common anymore, but still around in some office equipment. USB 3.0 Type B. This is a bulkier version of Type B with an extra chunk on top. Designed for faster USB 3.0 speeds, often seen on external hard drives. Rare today, but you may still spot it in older storage gear. USB Mini B. Remember digital cameras and MP3 players from the 2000s? They used Mini B. Smaller than Type A. Bigger than Micro. Pretty much obsolete now. USB Micro B. This tiny port replaced Mini B on lots of phones and gadgets before USB C came around. Common on Android phones, power banks, and older devices. Still used here and there, but fading out. USB 3.0 Micro B. This one looks a bit strange. It's like a wide micro B with two sections, designed for external hard drives that needed faster speed. Not very common anymore. USB Type C. Here's the star of the show reversible, fast, and versatile. USB C can handle charging, data, video output, and more, all in one port. Found on most new laptops, tablets, and phones. Definitely here to stay. Thunderbolt 1 or 2 Mini Display Port Shape. Thunderbolt started out looking exactly like Mini DisplayPort. It allowed super fast data transfers plus video output, mostly on MacBooks. Not used anymore, but it laid the groundwork for modern Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt 3 to 4, USB C shape. Now Thunderbolt uses the USB C connector, but it's even faster, perfect for connecting external GPUs, 4K monitors, and super fast drives. You'll find this on modern MacBooks and some high-end PCs, very much in use today. Firewire 400, 6-pin. Before USB got fast, Firewire was Apple's solution for video editing and external drives. The 6-pin Firewire 400 was common in the early 2000s, but it's completely outdated now. Apple Lightning. Apple introduced Lightning in 2012 for iPhones and iPads. Smaller and reversible, but only for Apple devices, still in use, though newer iPhones are switching to USB-C. Samsung 30-pin connector. This big, flat connector was used on old Galaxy tabs before USB became standard. It's long gone now. Sony Ericsson FastPort. Remember Sony Ericsson phones? They had their own special FastPort connector for charging, data, and even headphones. Completely obsolete today. So from bulky printer cables to today's sleek USB-C, data ports have come a long way. Some are still with us, some are just tech memories. Which of these have you actually used? Drop your answer in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Tech Explained Simply.